Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon. The bold and the beautiful spoilers, Finn can't look at Steffi the same. The bold and the beautiful viewers know that Steffi Forrester, Jacqueline Massinswood, can do no wrong in her husband Dr. Finn's, Tanner Novlin, eyes, but all that is about to change. This week on the CBS soap, John Finnegan will see another side of his wife, and it's not a good one. Keep reading to find out what's coming up next on B&B, &B, spoilers ahead. The bold and the beautiful spoilers, Steffi Forrester went too far with Hope Logan. Steffi Forrester is the perfect woman in her husband's eyes, but he's having a tough time watching her bully his former bestie Hope Logan, Annika Noel. It's only a matter of time before Finn learns about the hope for the future ultimatum that Steffi delivered to her stepsister, and B and B spoilers in that it's not going to sit well with him. Steffi's family seems to think it's perfectly okay for her to threaten to axe Hope's line if she crosses a line with Finn. But at what point is the Forrester creation CEO abusing her power? Whether or not you think Hope was wrong, you have to admit that it's unfair for her to be punished at work for something that happened in their personal lives. If Finn was married to anyone else, Hope wouldn't be fighting to keep her fashion line afloat right now. The Forrester Creations crew has always had a tough time differentiating between their romantic lives and professional relationships at the office. B and B spoilers, Finn Finnegan disturbed by Steffi Forrester's behavior. The bold and the beautiful spoilers reveal that Finn will be horrified by Steffi's threats at the workplace. Of course, when he slips up and accidentally makes it sound like he is taking Hope's side or justifying the now infamous kiss, all hell is going to break loose in Los Angeles. Do you think that Steffi crossed a line? Or does Hope Logan deserve everything the Forrester Harris is dishing out? Will Finn be Ablo to look at his wife the same after watching her bully Hope? Share your thoughts in the comments below and keep checking back here on Celebrating the Soaps for more B&B &B spoilers, news, and updates. In the world of the bold and the beautiful, where power, passion, and betrayal simmer just beneath the surface, Finn's world is about to be shaken in ways he never expected. Steffi Forrester, the woman who once embodied every dream he'd ever had about love, is now someone he can barely recognize. The distance between them grows with every passing moment, not just physically, but emotionally. And for Finn, this shift marks the beginning of a fracture he's not sure they can repair. It all started with the simplest of secrets, one that seemed harmless enough at the time. A kiss, a single moment of vulnerability and betrayal, shared between Steffi and another man, Finn's best friend, no less. Finn had always trusted Steffi implicitly, believing that their love was strong enough to withstand anything. But this? This was different. This was not just a mistake, it was a choice, one that shattered the trust they had spent years building. As Finn sits alone in their living room, the echo of Steffi's confession still ringing in his ears, he finds himself struggling to process everything. He'd always prided himself on being calm, on keeping a level head no matter what life threw his way but this betrayal cuts deeper than anything he's ever known. Steffi had sworn she was done with the chaos that surrounded her past relationships, promising that Finn was her future, but now everything feels like a lie. Steffi stands at the doorway, watching him from a distance, the guilt and fear palpable in her eyes. She's never seen Finn like this before, so distant, so cold. It's as if the warmth between them— the fiery passion that once defined their relationship has been extinguished. Steffi can feel the weight of her actions pressing down on her, suffocating her. She's tried to apologize to explain, but every word she says seems to fall on deaf ears. Finn doesn't want to hear her excuses. He wants to believe that the woman he loves is still the same person, but he's not sure he can. I can't even look at you the same. Finn says finally, his voice barely a whisper but filled with a raw honesty that cuts Steffi to the core. I thought I knew who you were. I thought we were different. Steffi feels her heart drop. She knew this wouldn't be easy, but hearing those words out loud makes it real in a way she hadn't anticipated. She steps forward, desperation in her eyes. Finn, please. It was a mistake. I wasn't thinking. Exactly, Finn interrupts, his voice growing louder, more strained. You weren't thinking. You didn't think about me, about us, about what we've built together. How am I supposed to just forget that? How am I supposed to move past this when every time I look at you, 
All I see is him. Steffi flinches at the mention of him, the other man in the equation, the one she had kissed in a moment of weakness. She hadn't meant for it to happen. It was a fleeting lapse in judgment, but the consequences now feel so permanent, so damning. I love you, Finn, she pleads, stepping closer. What happened meant nothing. You mean everything to me. We can get through this, I know we can. But Finn doesn't move. He stands there. Arms crossed, eyes averted. He can't bear to look at her, not right now. He wants to believe her words, wants to trust that their love is strong enough to survive this. But every time he closes his eyes, he sees Steffi in someone else's arms, and the pain is too much to bear. How do I know this won't happen again? Finn asks, his voice breaking with emotion. How do I know you won't find yourself in another moment of weakness, and do the same thing? I thought we were solid, Steffi. I thought we were unbreakable. We are, Steffi insists, tears welling in her eyes. We are unbreakable, Finn. Please, don't let one mistake ruin everything we've worked so hard to build. But for Finn, it's not that simple. Trust isn't something that can be rebuilt overnight. It's fragile, delicate, and once broken, it's hard to piece back together. He turns away from her, running his hands through his hair in frustration. I don't know if I can do this, he admits, his voice barely audible. Steffi feels her heart sink even further. She reaches out to touch him, but he pulls away, the distance between them growing even more palpable. Please, don't say that, she whispers, her voice breaking. I can't lose you, Finn. You're everything to me. Finn doesn't respond immediately. Instead, he walks over to the window, staring out at the Los Angeles skyline, the city that once seemed so full of promise now feeling cold and distant. He knows Steffi is hurting. He knows she regrets what happened. But that doesn't change the fact that something has shifted between them, something he's not sure they can ever get back. I need time, Finn finally says, his voice filled with a quiet resignation. I need to figure out if I can move past this. Because right now, every time I look at you, all I see is what you did, and I don't know if I can live with that. Steffi's tears fall freely now, but she doesn't try to stop them. She knows she's the one who caused this, that she's the one who pushed Finn away. All she can do now is hope that time will heal the wounds she's caused, and that somehow, they'll find their way back to each other. But as Finn walks out of the room, leaving Steffi standing there alone, she can't help but wonder if their love is truly as unbreakable as she once believed, or if this is the beginning of the end for them. Finn doesn't respond immediately. Instead, he walks over to the window, staring out at the Los Angeles skyline, the city that once seemed so full of promise now feeling cold and distant. He knows Steffi is hurting, he knows she regrets what happened, but that doesn't change the fact that something has shifted between them, something he's not sure they can ever get back. I need time, Finn finally says, his voice filled with a quiet resignation. I need to figure out if I can move past this. Because right now, every time I look at you, all I see is what you did, and I don't know if I can live with that. Steffi's tears fall freely now, but she doesn't try to stop them. She knows she's the one who caused this, that she's the one who pushed Finn away. All she can do now is hope that time will heal the wounds she's caused, and that somehow, they'll find their way back to each other.